the quantity of plasticine with a volume of 512 centimeter cube is formed into two cubes. Now this is plasticine and from this you're making two cubes. Okay, now the length of this cube is say A and the length of this cube is B. Both are cubes. Okay, uh, this doesn't look like a plasticine cube, but presume, now this I have Googled. So this from this plasticine, which is, has got a volume of 512 centimeter cube, you're making two of these cubes. The question is, what's the minimum possible total surface area of the two cubes? And what's the maximum total surface area, possible total surface area of the two cubes? Okay, so let's write the information that we have. So the, the volume of a cube, the volume of this, so let me write this. So the volume of plasticine, can I write volume of plasticine is equal to volume of two cubes. That's the first logic. And the volume of plasticine is 512 is equal to the volume of first cube would be A cube plus B cube. Okay, so this is say the first equation. Okay, and the area of the first cube is 6A squared. The total surface area is 6A squared because it has six surfaces and the area of each surface is A squared. Okay, so the total surface area of two cubes total surface area of the two cubes, I'm not writing the, is 6a squared plus b, 6b squared, 6b squared. So instead of writing total surface area, I'll write only a for total surface area, is 6a squared plus 6b squared. It will go very slowly so that you understand and I also don't make mistakes because uh, I tend to do lots of mistakes when I am going fast. So I'm going to write this a cube in terms of b. So from 1 can I write a cube is 512 minus b cube which implies taking cube root of both sides a is cube root of 512 minus b cube. So writing this as a power, cube root is nothing but 512 minus b cube to the power 1 third. Okay, now what can we do? We want to write the surface area as a function of one letter. Okay, so you've got a and a squared and b squared. So in place of a, can I put this expression? So I can write from 2, from 2, I can say a is 6 times, a is 512 minus b cube to the power 1 third the whole squared, because this is nothing but a, okay? plus 6b squared. So let us simplify this a little. So a would be 6 times uh, bracket 512 minus b cube to the power. You got power of power, so you have to multiply. 2 thirds plus 6b squared. Now this area is now as a function of b, which is the length of the second cube. So now to find the maximum or the minimum possible area, we'll have to differentiate this function with respect to B. So we can say differentiating with respect to B. Okay, let me put this in a bracket. So dA by dB. So here you have to be careful. So you're differentiating this individually. This is six times. I'll first differentiate the inside first. So when I differentiate it inside, this will become minus 3b squared times then the outside, which is 2 thirds, you drop the power down, uh, 512 minus b cubed, and this you decrease by 1. 
so two thirds so let me write that two third take away three thirds this is one plus 12b okay so this let me simplify this so I can say dA by dB is equal to this is this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled so this is minus 12b squared minus 12b squared times uh, 512 minus b cube to the power minus one third plus 12b so this is the differentiation so you can say now maximum or now for optimization or this is the common word for maximum or minimum for now for optimization or for maximum and minimize it for, for maximum or minimum for optimize let me write the right spelling optimization optimization that is for maximum or minimum we know that da by db has to be da by db and uh, da by db has to be equal to zero so i'm going to set this equal to zero so i can say minus 12 b squared times 512 phi 1 2 minus b cubed to the power negative one third plus 12 b is equal to zero okay so yeah i can factor out the I can factor out the b. If you factor out the b, you will have minus 12b times 512 minus b cube to the power minus one third plus 12 is equal to zero. So you can say b is equal to zero or minus 12b times 512 minus b cube to the power negative one third plus 12 is equal to zero so let us simplify this you if you take away 12 from both sides you can say minus 12 b times 512 minus b cube to the power negative one third is negative 12 and if you divide both sides by negative 12 uh, i can get uh, uh, b times uh, b times 512 so let me write this like this if you divide both sides by negative 1 what can I get b over 512 minus b cube to the power 1 third is equal to 1 so now I'm going to multiply by this cube root so b is equal to 512 minus b cube to the power one third so if you cube this side so this is b cube is equal to 512 uh, 512 minus b cube one third uh, am i doing something wrong here uh, Mm, I don't think so. Uh, what am I getting? Yeah, I'm getting okay. So if you cube this side, you'd also cube this side. Okay, yeah, I'm right here. So b cube is equal to 512 minus b cube. And if you add b cube to both sides, you can say 2b cube is 512. Okay. So we can say b cube, if we divide both sides by 2, it is 256. So b is cube root of 256. So there are two possibilities. You get two answers. One is b is equal to 0 or b is equal to cube root of. Now we have to decide at which b, we would also explain algebraically that uh, one of the b's at one of the b's you'll get maximum and the other you'll get minimum okay so so let us say if b is equal to zero what will happen now what do we know a cube plus b cube is equal to uh, 512 so i can say a cube is 512 
so a uh, the volume would be uh, so a would be um, cube root of 512 what area the length of you'll have you'll not have the you will have only one cube you will have the second you'll not have the second cube but because of that what will happen you'll have only one cube uh, so the surface area or you can say a is 6a squared plus 6b squared which is 6 times uh, 512 to the power 1 third the whole squared plus 6 times 0 squared so this is nothing but 6 times 512 to the power 2 divided by 3 plus 0 so let me use a calculator okay so this is menu run so 6 times 512 raised to I'll put this in bracket 2 divided by 3 that will give you the uh, an area, uh, sorry, the volume, which is 384. Okay, so I will will show by the second derivative, this is the minimum area. Okay, so yeah. So we can say when A is, when B is 0, when B is 0, A is equal to uh, cube root of, A is cube root of 512. You get the area which is minimum, I'll explain that later, which is 384 centimeter squared. Okay, uh, let us, I'll explain the algebra behind this later or the calculus behind it. Okay, now what's the second option? The second option is when your B is cube root of 256. Let me use a different color. So the second option is B is cube root of 256. So what do we know? A cube plus B cube is 512. Now this implies B cube would be 256 because if you cube both sides, the cube root will disappear. So in other words, you can say A cube plus 256 is 512, which implies if you take 256 from both sides, A cube is 256, which implies A is cube root of 256 so a cube a, a and b both are cube root of 256 so the area is 6 a squared plus 6 b squared which is take the fact a a 6 out which is cube root of 256 uh, squared plus cube root of 256 squared. So this is nothing but 6 times, 2 times cube root of 256, the whole squared, which is, we're almost there, which is 12, this is a Lindy example, times 256 raised to 2 divided by 3. So let me use a calculator again. So this is, nothing but 12 times 256 raised to 2 divided by 3 which is 483.8 centimeter cube which is 483.8 centimeter cube in 1 bp now you have to use algebra or calculus to show this is the maximum area. Therefore, you can say A maximum is 483.8 centimeter cube. I think you can, I'll, okay, I want to finish it as, okay, I don't want to go beyond 15 minutes, so it's almost 15 minutes, but let us do. So what's this first, what was the first derivative? So let us uh, copy and paste. So this is the first derivative. Now to prove get the maximum or minimum let me copy this copy and let me open a new page paste oops 
Yeah, that's fine. So this is your dA by dB, the second derivative, sorry, the first derivative. So let me uh, differentiate it second time. So d squared a by db squared. If you do the second derivative, uh, you have to use the chain rule here. Okay. So I would like you to do that yourself. I've got the answers ready with me. So you have to first differentiate this and then leave this as it is. And then you differentiate this and, and put this. So ultimately, when you find the second derivative, it will be minus 24b. I worked this out, so you can check it yourself. Minus times 512 times b cubed raised to negative one third minus 12b to the power of 4 times 512 minus b cubed. Uh, to the power minus four thirds plus 12. I think you can understand the 12, 12 is the derivative of this. Now here you have this is because you, you're using the chain rule. So when you differentiate, you have to first differentiate this and leave this as it is. So can you see that? Okay, and then you have to differentiate this, where again you have to use, uh, this is the product rule, and again, for the, when you're differentiating this, you have to use the chain rule. So I don't want you to, you can do this yourself. Okay, so when uh, when b is equal to zero, when b is equal to zero, this implies what will happen to the second derivative. Okay, when b is zero, this becomes zero, this is a zero. So this is nothing but 12, which is greater than 0. And for when the second derivative is greater than 0, this implies at b is equal to 0, you get a the area which should be minimum. When the second derivative is positive, you get minimum. And that's why at a is equal to 0, you got the minimum area of uh, what was the answer. Let me go back. Uh, the minimum area was 300 and something. Yeah, okay, yeah. So A minimum was 384. Okay, so this is 384. You can use logic. Now, when B is equal to, when B was cube root of 256, okay, this implies B squared A by DB squared Use again your logic. This is cube root of 256. So let us find what is cube root of 256. So 256 raised to 1 divided by 3, which is 6.34. So that's a positive number. So let us just say it is 6. Okay, if you take 6, if you take 6, this is negative. This will become negative and this will go in the denominator. So the Denom this bracket will become negative because 6, no, this will be positive. So 6 cube is, so let us cube that. I suppose if you raise that by 3, oh, that will be 256. So that is, uh, that's not brainer. So this is nothing but 256. So this will be positive. So the whole thing will become negative. This will also become, this will also become uh, negative. And... Uh, if you simplify this, ultimately, this will be less than zero. You can put this cube root of 256 in this form, and you will find that it is less than zero, which implies at b is equal to cube root of 256, 256, you get a maximum, a maximum which was 483 point eight this is centimeter squared and this is centimeter squared this is one of the longest videos that i have made hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video